Why do you build me a buttercup, baby? Oh, are we ready? Uh, I think so. Unless, okay. Is that your intro there? Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of my intro, but I'll really do one. Hi, everybody. It's uh, K6 Scope and Argon Matrix. We're let's play, let's co oping. Uh, co oping? Let's co oping. Uh, yeah, it's really awkward galaxy. to say. But. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty sketchy, but we'll go with it. And last time we unlocked a new dome, the engine room, so. I chose those dome, you know. Stone codes. <laughs> I suppose we'll partake in that. This is fine, uh, uh 7 p.m. Yeah, Man, it's exactly 7 p.m. <laughs> yeah, and I just thought of that. It's exactly 6 p.m. here. Holy crap, what are we doing? Are we high? It's like cockwork, man. Alright, oh no, so many new galaxies. Slim for the picking. Um, pick the, pick the, yeah, but do that one. Do that one. That one? You like that one? Yeah, we're gonna do it. Right now. Does he look like a bitch? Does Marcellus Wallace look like a bitch to you? <laughs> no. Then why'd you fuck him like one? Exactly. Yes, you and did! Riddle me, yes, riddle you me this. did! Riddle me this. <laughs> I didn't fuck myself, Wallace. <laughs> oh, what are we even talking? King Finn's Fierce Demo This is a pretty cool galaxy. I like this one. Yeah, I guess we better talk about it while we're here, because this is the only star. This is yeah. the only chance you get. If only for, like, the shell made of obsidian around the freaking thing. That's just yeah, amazing. Yeah, that guy's, like, wearing hey, look goggles. Those, those spikes That's probably are, just like, now, oh, man. So much to say about this beautiful. I know, and it's not even that big. It's just, well, I guess it kind of is. Oh my <laughs> god! Coolest boss intro ever in this game, at least. Exactly. Seriously. The only thing that would have been cooler is if it would have shown him like eating Luigi or something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's kind of true. Yeah. Bonefin looks pretty badass. I must say, I don't know. He looks like higher quality than all the rest of the bosses here. Like this looks like a. Skyrim boss or something, you know, like next level. Damn, yeah, it, it, it kind of does. You're right. It looks more somehow more realistic. Like even everything though, else, even though it's a bone fish. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like you know, like the Goombas and the Koopas are all very rounded. Yeah, like Boulder guys. Like what? What the hell? And then, yeah, that's then, just kind of stupid. But then there's this guy. I know, like I think like the first time I fought this guy, I was kind of legitimately scared of him because he's just like he's got this big dome. He's got the homeland advantage. Exactly. No, and, he's, and he's just so scary. Yeah. Look at him. The only thing that would have made him scary is if he actually like went out of his way to attack you, like, you know. True. But fuck that. And he kinda deviates from the normal Mario bosses too by taking I think five hits. Yeah. And I think I missed him with that red shell, which is kind of a miracle. Oh yeah, and then something else is he kinda remind what did we say? He reminds us of Clinker. Clinker's cavern. Oh yeah, Clanker from uh Banjo Clanker Kazooie. from Banjo Kazooie, yeah. Clinker. What the Clinker, hell is that? Clanker, whatever. Aren't those like the pieces of shit that hang on the walls in Banjo Tooie? Oh yeah, clinkers. Yeah, little. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> That's Swiss horrible. Whispers, man, like whispers. All right. Oh no. I like those little like minions he summons too. They remind me of some other game that I played from like ten years ago. I'm trying to think like it reminds me of something oh. off Majora's Mask from the Great Bay Temple, but I don't think there's anything in there like that. Amazingly, it kind of actually reminds me of a bug's life because they're buggy, buggy eyes. It's like, it's like such a good game. game. It was. I think I played it. I think they had it on the N64 and the PS1, but I think I played it on the PS1. I'm pretty. I played it on the PS1 too. I never finished it. But. So good. I, I don't think I finished it either. It was actually kind of hard if I remember correctly. It was, it, and there was a lot to do. Is he? Is he flashing electricity? I, can you see that? <laughs> yeah, he's using his Zoro power, man. God, all right. I think one more shell should do him in, though. Was that gonna hit him? Oh no! Oh wait, no, it did. Holy crap! Oh, wow! I didn't expect that. It hit him like 12 seconds after it passed him. Well, he's so huge. You could pretty much throw a shell anywhere, and it almost hit him. Oh, I love it. That's a brilliant death animation right there. It's a Volvagia slash Mulgara. Exactly. Yeah, you know, their just, head explodes. Their head explodes. Their body collapses. It's just exactly. amazing. And then star right there. That's that. Booyah. Bye bye, Bonefin Galaxy. It's kind of sad. I like the volcanic ocean aspect of it. Yeah, that's that's more realistic than volcanoes on the surface. Shit. Seriously, like, oh my god. Do you know how many freaking like volcanic vents there are at the bottom of the ocean? It's amazing. Like millions and millions. <laughs> millions. <laughs> A gigazillion. A gigagoomba. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, like you want a well, that's it for that. Dollars. That's it for that. That's that's actually the first and last star in that galaxy. So. Uh, well, that was easy. Let's see. Well, you picked that one, so I'm gonna pick the next one. I'm, I'm gonna right. pick oh uh, this one. <gasps> well, oh, gold leaf. Let's do it. I like that honeycomb planet up there. It's like yeah. what? Another bee galaxy. Oh my. Too Star many bunnies on the hunt. I, I don't know. There's only like two in Galaxy 2, isn't there? Oh, there's there's hun Honey Hop and like Honey. There's Bloom. Honey Hop and Honey. Yeah, Honey Bloom. There's Honey Bloom, the one in this game. There's no, this one's Honey Hive, right? Yeah, Honey Hive and and then Good Leaf. Can't they just call them like B Galaxy One <laughs> or something? B One, B Two. All right, and just like oh, there, was an there was an shit. there was an M of Star Bits in the first Galaxy, the first B Galaxy, and oh, there's an L, L here. What could that stand for? I mean, loser. Mario's the only brother. <laughs> Gotta stand for loser. Loser. Oh my. Alright, so, uh. B Galaxy. See, I don't like I don't like the B Galaxies because they take so long to do, because the B is so slow. It's just like. Yeah, he is. I mean. I mean, he does have to pick Mario's fat ass up, you must admit. That's true, that's, that's just not, true. That's not an easy feat to accomplish. Yeah, I don't know if the B is legitimately that slow, like, I guess he's not, it's just, it feels slow. I guess because the music is kind of just lumbering or something. Yeah. I mean, and he does, like, as you start flying, he takes, a, he starts going down for a second and then That's rising. true, he that's is, true. So it's kind of an optical illusion of suck. Exactly. All right, there should be a, a starship in this crate, if I'm not mistaken. Man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I can smell the blue starship boiling. I wonder what a blue yeah, starship would box. smell like. Holy crap. Probably like something. Uh, it would smell like metal. I don't know, like a sink or a hammer. I don't know, our star stars aren't made of metal. Well, the starships kind of look metal. That's Ooh. true. I kind of hope that they would smell like cake icing, because cake icing smells good. Vanilla. Not chocolate. That just what doesn't seem right. Mm. Or maybe it smells like uh Teen Spirit. California girls. I, I don't know. I just had girl. to say the first the first the name of the first song that came to my mind and for some reason it was that. <laughs> yeah, that's I don't know about that. It's kinda sketchy, man. Uh, I'm glad the first song that came to my mind wasn't like fat or something. Um, fat. I hope they smell like fat. Exactly. That stinks, dude. <laughs> fat is I nasty. Fat with, I just associate it with sweat, because if you're fat, it's going to sweat, man. <laughs> Chub rub. <laughs> that sounds like an old-timey saying or something. Exactly. If it's fat, it'll sweat. All right. Oh, the fountain missed. Oh, well, I just... Oh, yeah, it's a, it's the bidet. <laughs> the bidet fountain. Yeah, Mario needs to... I mean, hey. Gotta keep your sphinxster clean, you know? Where's the star, chip boy? Not late. He's like a Pokemon, he's gotta say that all the time. Boy, boy. Exactly, you'd think of this his name or something. Oh, a frozen mid ground pound. How epic. Owned. Owned. I'm gonna join the parade of these boulders and just uh, go along. Go with the flow, you know? It's like Mario Kart, except if they pass you, you die. Exactly, and if you keep going with the parade, then you also die because you kind of walk off the edge. Exactly, it's pretty much a lose-lose situation. Yeah, you know, it's just like, like, like drugs or something. <laughs> but the influence, Mario, with come drugs, on. you always lose. <sighs> Except when you win, and then it's awesome. No, no, you always lose. <laughs> you always lose. It's true. It is true. That's your little uh, whatever it is. Public service announcement. Public service announcement. Yeah, public service announcement from your friends at uh, Argon Scope Productions. I don't know. Yeah, we can call it PSA of the day. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to have one every day. This is the only day, unfortunately. Yeah, no, don't get your hopes up. I mean, come on. <laughs> Work? Come on. <laughs> Seriously. All right, I wanted to point out that thing because it's so weird, but I like kind of destroyed it. There's another one. There's, oh, yeah, the there should be another one, block though. in the ice thing. Yeah, I have no idea what they are or what purpose they serve. I guess you're supposed to shoot them into the bunny. And like stop his ass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do that, I guess. That's kind of a cool like physic, the way it like slides yeah. and stuff. I wish they Can would. Can you like that spin into them and? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Holy. Damn, crap. that goes flying. Jeez, it goes flying and rotating. Just... This is fun. I kind of just want to do this for the rest of the time. 
Boom. It's like fighting Bowser. You know, you spin him. See if you can catch up to it. It's kind of a fun game to play with yourself. Oh man, it came around the other side and destroyed itself. Oh, no. Speaking of playing with yourself, I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can we have a brief, like, 30 minute intermission? All right, can I? Holy First crap! This bunny is actually kind of fast. This is like Super Mario 64. It's actually tough. Exactly. And that one wasn't even that. Like he was in an enclosed area. Yeah. I like how he makes that little, one had like a really good AI though. He did. I like how he makes the little footsie prints in the in the wood of all things. It's like, are your feet really that just slimy and grimy that they make imprints on wood? I don't know. California girls—they're unforgettable. Ah, oh, there we go. Daisy Dukes. Are you saying that up. California girls have nasty feet? Exactly. Oh my god, god that was a crazy that. angle on the star. I love that. It like shot itself like at a million miles per hour towards the camera. You never see that. Yeah. And it's like it had a mind of its own because it like floated over that little hump there. Yeah, I kind of expected it to just like fly away with the way it was going. Like, why do they just have eyes out of all the things they could have? All the body parts, all the orifices you could give them, and you give them eyes. I don't know. I guess eyes and nothing else. It just. It lets it leaves it to your imagination, like what's on their mind. You don't know. You have but then again, eyes. if you could have any like body part on your face, any thing, what would you pick? I would probably pick eyes. I would rather see than like hear or talk or something. Yeah, but like without a mouth, you can't eat. Yeah, but if you didn't have to eat, if you were a star, for example, you know, if you were a power. Nah, that's star. true. I guess. All right. Uh, yeah. I'd rather see more than anything. It's your else. pick. What are we gonna do? We're only at 12 uh, minutes, so. Well, I know that 26 one sucks ass. That's but, 36, but, dummy. Oh, 36. It's so tiny. Okay, go for I'm the sorry. go for the 40 one. 40. Let's go. Can't believe we only need 45 stars for Bowser. Oh, toy time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah! Look at that. This is gonna be so much fun. This galaxy is a mess though. It is, and it's long as hell. So strap your seatbelts and get some popcorn or something. Yeah, it's like what is it? Lord of the Rings Chapter Five, <laughs> Toy Time Galaxy. Exactly. Oh no. Page one. So that's Mecha Bowser, uh, kind of a downgrade from Sunshine, if you ask me. Yeah, he's kind of a little bitch now. I don't know. Can, can, I'm just gonna, you know, I think we should just instead of doing this, let's just cut in the love peanut Pin park and just do that instead. Exactly. Yeah, I would totally. Oh my god, now now I want to play Sunshine so bad. Oh, we can do it at the end of this recording. Don't worry. I just want to play <laughs> fucking. Peanut Park. Man. I love it. Wee. I mean, this galaxy is fun. You gotta ride a train here. You don't get to do does that. This, does park. this? Okay, tell me this. Riddle me this. Does this galaxy have good music playing right now, or is it just like? Uh, uh it's. I think it's a remix of an um, old Mario. Like it's the doo 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 doo. What the hell? Oh, okay. So if it's not that good, what we could do is we could cut in some like Peanut Park music or something. That would be kind of cool. That's true. I don't know. This music is kind of iconic though, so I don't know if we can. Yeah, but it's always iconic. It's a Mario. This game. is fun and all, but shouldn't we be working? Yeah, get your ass off this train and do something. Yeah, Toad, you're the one not doing anything. Hell, like, I mean, look at me. I'm working. I'm flying through the cosmos. In a room. In Andy's room, yep. looking for Buzz and Woody. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Oh my god, we talked about Toy Story so much in the original recording. 
Yeah. Just I like, yeah, this the claw. Acknowledge the fact that yeah, there's a failed recording. Oh, oh, can I actually get oh, up? Oh, yeah. Can I actually get up there? Oh, yeah. And the Gearmos are the little green guys. Ah, claw. What are you, what are you panning about? My friends have been kidnapped. Oh, that's too bad. Anyways. Oh, yeah, Mecha Bowser, like, ate them. I don't think I've ever been up here. This is crazy. Reminds me of that. It's like the shapes remind me of the top of that house in Chompworks Galaxy. You know how it's like oh, all jagged up oh, there yeah. and there's a green star up there, remember? I don't know, somehow it also reminded me of like the houses in Flipsville. You know? Oh yeah, that too. You know, those godforsaken things. I hate that shit, man. Can I like ground pound this? This looks awesome. Get through the great Mario. but I won't Get do through it. the great Mario. Oh, there's a one. Go through the fucking great Mario. Asshole. God, Mario. Right. Yeah, this planet always like perturbed me. I don't know. It's it's fun and it's atmospheric and all that good stuff. It reminds me of Sunshine, like I said before, that people didn't hear. Yeah. Like those secret levels in Sunshine with all the whoozy whatsits and the doodads and the widgets. Yeah, but it just seems like I don't know. It doesn't seem very well laid out. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just like, like a mess. So I guess it makes sense because yeah. it's like a toy room and a kid's toy room is always a fucking mess. But. Yeah, but then again, that's just an excuse. True. Oh, we can make it a mess because the toy room's a mess. Like, oh, fuck you. Exactly. <laughs> right. I wouldn't get mad at you if it looked nice. <laughs> Seriously. I don't know, it might feel too, like, business class if you do that, though. Yeah. I don't know, I think we just like to bitch. Yeah, we do. We just like to point out that the faults of the game too. when this game is, like, exactly. practically perfect. Pretty close, yeah, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. I mean, for, like, for, like 2006, this is, like, what the hell? For such a shitty year, it's a pretty good game, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like 2006 is just such a blah year. It's like I know, it's just such ass, man. Alright, can you unscrew this? Thank you. I think I was a soft... No, I was a junior in 2006. In 2006, Ugh. I was in grade 7. <laughs> god, oh my god, memories. Did grade 7 suck? Yeah, grade 7 is horrible. Middle school always sucks, because, you know, that's, it's, it's the middle. middle school, yeah. It's like you're not... You know, at the beginning, so you've been there for a while, but you're not at the end, so you still got a while to go. One thing I liked about it is that it, in my middle school, we had, like, colored lockers, like, rainbow lockers, and in my high school, we have, like, black and white, <laughs> so it's kind of... Uh, oh, we got a new power-up! Oh, my God. The spring shroom. The spring shroom. Possibly the hardest to control of power-ups, but it's also fun as... One of the just, funnest. Just, like, yeah. amazing. Fun as dick, dude. Go! And with this, you can, like, break, like, get a million miles above the freaking... Exactly, Question it's just like, so. it's, there's no limits anymore, it's just, you're free. free it's to just ridiculous, I mean, look at how impossible this is. I know, you can ground pound some, from such amazing heights. Like I said, hard to control, so. Yeah. But if you match the control, <laughs> you can actually do some pretty amazing stuff with it. Yeah. I don't know, if there was like a Mario game where they like let you pick power-ups or something at the beginning of a level, like, you know, like a galaxy game. Well, that'd be kick-ass. You can ass. just do any power-up, yeah, like, they should make it to where like if you beat the game then you can use the power-ups anytime and then just break a bunch of levels with the spring shroom. Serious. If what I could... You forgot out there with the boxes on top of the boxes there. If I could combine power-ups, then I, then I would totally combine like the spring shroom and the cloud shroom and the cloud flower. Oh man, you'd be able Couldn't to get you, Could you imagine? Life. And with like Luigi's mega jumps, then it would be like, holy shit. Yeah. Can I not break this open? I guess I don't really the need to. Spring shroom and the bee shroom. Just fly a little bit and then just. <laughs> <laughs> or the spring shroom and the red star. Holy crap. Mm. The spring shroom with anything would be kind of cool, like the spring shroom and the fire flower. I don't know about the spring shroom and the ghost shroom, but. Yeah, that'd be kind of weird. Because <laughs> then you wouldn't bounce, you just kind of float up every time you. Oh <laughs> shit. Oh, you're so dead. Where, what gave you the inclination? <laughs> the Daboot or the too bad? Yeah, it was the Daboot. The Daboot cleared me. I was like, oh, he might make it. And then it was like Daboot. And I was like, no, no, he's not. Yeah, unfortunately. One thing that's kind of cool about this mission in particular is that you can like always see parts of Mecha Baz wherever you go. So it's just looming. And his tiny ass He's green just green haunting. Show. He's like, I'm going to get you. Yeah, that tiny ass green He's standing show. completely still. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to get you eventually. Just come over here. Let me get you. Because I can't really move, so... <laughs> I'm stuck in space. Exactly. Alright, let's get this one up. And if you see down there, there's like a brief glimpse of a train under the... Yeah, you can see it there. It's supposed to be an easter egg of some sort, I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, no, get... 
Oh, get up there. Thank you. Don't die. Don't die. Do not die. I did not and die. Boom. I would never die. Right would I ever, ever let you down like that? <laughs> Have I ever let you down? <laughs> let me think. I'm not doing that. Oh my god, that's you gotta do it, man. <laughs> it would you be like the shortest death. It would be the shortest death montage ever, though. Just like yeah, it'd be like four or five. Yeah, it wouldn't be nearly as epic as that one that's in '64. Yeah, see, man, it makes the game fun when you die. I know, but I, I, it's just not in my. I can't. You can't bring yourself to do it. It's not in your arsenal. Yeah, it's not. And plus, like, if I died purposefully, it wouldn't be as good. That's true. All right, finally, we get to see what's in that block because I remember we missed that block the first time. But if was there a sub block on top of that block? No. Bum bum bum. Oh, there might have been. I don't know. <laughs> For all I know, that's where the 121st star is. 122nd, yeah. actually. 122nd. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Go, yeah. Oh my God, that guy is so crazy. Look at his range. Oh no. What the hell? Whoa! You almost. I almost saved my ass. Comeback. But I was tilting the. Man, maybe we should hold the death montage off till after this galaxy. Seriously. Oh my God. Get a few more in there. It's like. Three or four times I've died now. But you get the springs room. Get the thing in the thing in the. <laughs> Look at that Mecha Koopa. Hell. That's one thing that's kind of cool is that they brought back Mecha Koopas for the Galaxy series from Super Mario World. It's like it's so crazy. It's like they're Koopas but mechanized. Yeah, it's like heavy metal Mecha Bowser, just like the level name. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Bit Mario, we'll be back for you. I'll be back. Hasta la vista. Mm, this is a nice little planet, Yay. just a little plate floating in the sky. With these little child utensils. Yeah, it's a really fast planet, though, if you just do that, then you're done. See ya! <laughs> and look at that <laughs> tiny ass green shell, like you pointed out before. It's just like. Because, like. God, it's compared to Bowser's real shell in those proportions, it's just like, what in the world? Yeah. Yeah, which covers his pretty much entire body. Exactly, like, he could hi he could hide inside of that. Don't ground pound the screw. Don't. Yeah, like a real turtle, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, this guy, he would, like, it'd be like, like those stupid, up, like, the, like when little kids, they like, just, like, cover their eyes, and they're like, okay, if I can't see them, they can't see me. Okay. Like, if he tried to hide in his shell, that's what it would be. You know, that just reminded me of, I was thinking of, like, turtles and, like, their proportions of the shells in video games. Ow! And I thought, Holy shit! Oh, dude, that's instant death! Oh my god, I never knew that! That should be instant death, I mean, shit. Did I've got to be the first person to ever die that way. Just, just uh, ever, that's the, that's the only Unless somebody's, like, controller died at this point or something, <laughs> and they couldn't do anything. Even so, I don't know. Because like, if their controller dies, then the, th then the game it pauses, pauses it itself, it, yeah. so... True. That's hilarious. That sucks, dude. I'm trying to find every possible way to die in this game. An all death run. Exactly. God damn. I'm saying something about a turtle. Oh, yeah, so I was thinking about the turtle in. I don't know if it's Banjo Kazooie or Banjo Tooie, but you pound his arms and he's like. Arr! Oh, yeah. You know, he makes that like ridiculous sound effect. <laughs> I think that's it. That you cannot oh. copy no matter how hard you try. Oh, God. I thought you were about to like talk about like the tip top choir. Oh no, yeah, the tip tops are cool though. Their, their shells are pretty rightly proportioned, I guess. Yeah, they're also pretty good at racing. Fuck those guys. I mean, you can beat Whizpig without green boost, so. That's all. Try and beat my time. Asshole. Awesome. You beat my time, now go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm Dark Moon Caverns! <laughs> Dark Moon Caverns! <laughs> oh, one of my favorite quotes still. <laughs> so random. God. My favorite quotes is like the, uh,. What's the, um, is the guy's name Bubbly? Is that his name, the octopus guy? Uh, yeah, I think it's Bubbly. Bubbly, and he's like, blah, 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 blah. just how he has, like, bubbles when he talks. See, <laughs> oh, I know. Like, oh. Oh, but anyone who's played D D Diddy Kong Racing as a kid will tell you that those sounds that he makes during the race, like the, or whatever they are with the bubbles, those will haunt you for the rest of your life. Because you do that race exactly. so for so long until you finally get it. Exactly. That race is a bitch. Alright, get out of here, Keys. I always kind of wonder what happens, because, like, you screw, unscrew this and the arm starts falling really slow. But, like, what happens if you just, like, keep going with it and don't get to the launch star in time? I don't know. Oh, shit! Yeah, oh, shit! Speak of the devil. What the hell are you doing, Mario? So uh... Try to get to another part of it. I can't. He's, he keeps, like, falling with the stupid gravity. What the hell is going on? No! 
Oh no no no! <laughs> Dude, do not die! <laughs> not that again. again! You almost like jump right under it. All right, now I gotta figure out some kind of crafty ass way to get to that launch star. Now we're forcing sequence breaks. Great! This is just fantastic. Well, at least Man. forced me right here. Oh, okay, let's see. Oh my god! Wait, there's an elevator here now. Was this here always? So. Alright, well that's one and way to do it. It skips you up to this part, doesn't it? Alright, sweet. Yeah. Oh, oh, I was cheating. <laughs> Maybe that doesn't get up here until like you unscrew the arm or something. I don't know. Just, just Maybe, as an yeah. insurance, people are stupid enough to miss the launch star. Oh my god, that's so we're show So we're showing you something you normally wouldn't see because you wouldn't suck that bad. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god, I want to oh, get god. up there. Get up there. I'm going to do this without the spring shirt. I swear to god I will. Exactly. Oh well. Yeah, that can be done. Is there anything behind his little mane here, his little mohawk? Uh, let's see. No, no there's not. Definitely not. Get up there! Yes. And you got you can kick kick you can kick my ass? No, you can kiss my ass. He probably could kick your ass. Probably, but I'm gonna kick his ass first! This big ass <laughs> explosion. Bowser, explode. Bowser's not compute. Just because they put like little spikes, little red hair on his head, and a stupid green shell on his back doesn't make him a Mecha Bowser. No. Good job. That was just like a normal toy. You did it. I guess I owe you a thanks. And what about you? I thought we were done for. Just like Falco, he's like, I guess I owe you, I guess. <laughs> Like, how do you guess? You do owe me, bitch. I just saved your life. Exactly. For some reason, this I guess I should be thankful. <laughs> I know it's kind of late to be mentioning it, but th that galaxy always reminds me of the Paper Mario series. I don't know. Yeah, it kind of does with all of its <clears throat> and shapes and shit. And ba Mecha Bowser, they're dying. For some reason, reminds me of Tex Death and then in Paper Mario 2. I don't know. That's, that's, uh, a, to that's a total spoiler, so... Uh, yeah, I have no idea what you're even talking I about. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> No harm done. No harm, no foul. Anyways, oh my god, 28 minutes? Jeez, dude. Dude, I died too much. Oh, we can't show you all that. It. Oh, well. You gotta show it all. Anyways, thanks everyone for watching this very uh, peculiar episode of Super Mario Sunshine. I mean, Galaxy. Very night peculiar. Yeah. Old peculiar. So, this is Argon Matrix. K6 Go. Signing out. Thank you and good night.